So I actually already shot this video once, but there have been a lot of different developments since I shot that just a few days ago. So I figured it was probably a good idea to reshoot this and tell you guys of some of the changes that have taken place since I think like Thursday, Friday. Anyway, the original winner of the August giveaway was Dylan Wells. I reached out and I never heard anything back. And typically my policy on that is you have 48 hours from the time I email you. There's gotta be a winner and I can't wait forever. So if you don't respond within 48 hours, I've got to choose a new winner. So when I do that, I go to my spreadsheet and it's down here on my laptop. So down here, Dylan Wells was the winner. So here I have my list of all the people who submitted in August, as well as the, the, the additional entries at the bottom. Those are people who are featured here on YouTube or on Instagram. So those people are added back into the list once more. Then all I do is I copy the entire list and I open a random name picker and in that random name picker, all I do is paste the list and choose a new winner. And I'm gonna do that right now. All right, paste the list, pick a random name, and the new winner is Michael Tran. And Michael Tran, actually he had a really cool EDC. It was featured, so it does work. You get an additional entry and it does work. Anyway, congratulations Michael Tran, you are now the proud new owner of a Rovivon A5 that is a luminous body, and it comes in either a red light or a UV light for the side light and you get to choose which one that is, I'll be in touch. So, what the giveaway is now, all the things are the same, so all you have to do to enter is go to edcw.co, fill out the form, submit your picture, and you are entered. If you're featured, you get an additional entry, nothing there has changed. The only other thing I'm gonna ask, and I'll get to it, is that you follow some accounts on Instagram, and that's it. So those are the two things you'll have to do. But the prize, this month and moving forward, every month, I'm going to be giving away a full EDC kit to whoever wins. So not just one tool or a $50 Amazon gift card. Starting September and moving forward every month, there's gonna be a mostly standardized prize. That's gonna include a Griffin Pocket Tool of some sort, a Hitch and Timber Wallet of some sort, the Big Idea Design Titanium Pocket Tool, a Key Smart of some sort, and a Rovivon Aurora Flashlight of some sort. So every month, all of those things on the table and ooh, I am so excited. So the obvious requirement there is that you're gonna have to follow those accounts over on Instagram. That means you're gonna have to follow Griffin Pocket Tool, Big Idea Design, Key Smart, Hitchin Timber, Rovivon, and the Best Damn EDC over there. They're all gonna be linked down below. And uh, yeah, I am super excited and so thankful that all these companies have decided to come together and collaborate with me on this monthly giveaway. Uh, that's huge, and I could not be more thankful to them. So thank you guys. You're all really, really awesome. Um, that's to the companies, but you guys out there watching this video, you're cool too. I love you all. It's been... Whew, I'm so I'm so pumped right now. All right, cue the honorable mentions for July and August. What I do when people submit is they are all just dumped into a spreadsheet. All the submissions with all the information and a link to the photo. So I'll go click through, look at each photo, and then the ones that stick out to me for one reason or another, I highlight them and put them in another page on that spreadsheet, and then that's my finalists, and then I choose the ones that feature from those. So these all made it to that finalist page, but just never actually got featured. And, and I think to clarify for some of you, the reason I want to do some of these honorable mentions is one, because they deserve to get a shout out, but also because I wanna show you guys what it is I'm looking for. And it's nothing necessarily in particular, there are just certain things that catch my eye. And when something catches my eye, that's why I end up featuring it in the video. The first honorable mention comes from a longtime viewer of my stuff here on YouTube, and now someone I would actually call a personal friend. I've never met him in person, he lives down in Guatemala, but his name is Jose Carranza, and he's not necessarily into this whole EDC thing, in fact, that little blurb was Jose messaging me. I asked him a question, I'll get to his answer here in a second, but Jose was not really into everyday carry stuff at all. Um, he's been bitten by the bug, as has happened to a lot of people who have followed me for a long time but not necessarily cared about everyday carry gear, and I think it's starting to happen to a lot of people in my daily life too, which is pretty interesting. But his EDC is totally different. No knives, which I think was one of the things that kept him from being interested in it is that he felt that it was a, a knives and guns thing and a lot of people feel that way, but I want to change that. Everyday carry is the stuff you carry, regardless of what it is, it's the stuff you have in your pockets and carry with you every day. That could be a screwdriver, a hammer, um, a stethoscope, whatever it may be. 
that's your everyday carry, you know, like random stuff, whatever it is you carry, that's your EDC. And to that note, one of the first things here that you'll notice is the GPD Win 2. That's a Kickstarter edition that is a handheld gaming machine that runs Windows. And he's got some other stuff in here too, like the HK clip, the leather keychain, the minimalist keychain that I made over on Mod years ago, as well as the Field Notes notebook cover. Both of those are from DIY videos I made on my other channel. The other thing I wanna point out is the wallet that he makes. The wallet you see right there, he made it himself. And if you like it, you can go to Amazon and you can get 35% off by using the coupon code EDCLOVESGT. We're doing that just to help him get rid of the last few so he can put money into his future products. He's gonna be making different stuff and he wants to get rid of the ones that are there. Anyway, I'm not gonna dwell too long on these. These are the honorable mentions. I'm not gonna be going through all of the stuff here. I just wanna show you some of the stuff that jumps out to me. The next honorable mention comes from Maximilian Paskowski. You can find him over on Instagram at Max Paz with two Zs. And this one really caught my eye. I never found a really good way to feature it in anything. I should have probably posted it on Instagram. This one was actually featured over on everydaycarry.com, uh, but it's just really cool. And one of the things that jumped out to me was the bullet that you see here. That's actually a brass Fisher Space Pin bullet that he stuck into a bullet cartridge. Pretty clever, pretty unique, looks cool. I don't have anything else to say to that. But yeah, I love seeing stuff like that, clever little customizations that make your EDC your own. And then also this Zippo that he has here, trust no one. I think it's hilarious. It's cool on an old brass rustic Zippo. Um, still just really cool carry. Thanks for sharing Maximilian. Sorry you didn't get featured, but here you go. Here's your constellation as well. And just to note, this whole honorable mention thing is just an experiment. I'm just trying to figure out what I can do with these. And I think going through them in a more casual setup is uh, a pretty cool way to do that. Maybe it helps you know a little more about what you should do in your submissions or just maybe like a little more conversational. Next up is Dylan Eberhardt. Let me find Dylan's picture. So Dylan Eberhardt, you can find him over on Instagram at Ethan Eberhardt. Very confusing, but that's just how it is. And the thing that jumped out about this one to me was first the gun. If I were to EDC a gun, if I were to daily carry, I would probably have something like this. This is just really, really beautiful. It's a Beretta 9.2 FS and I love that wooden handle. I love that. I love black and brown. I shared my EDC on my Instagram the other day. Lo and behold, black and brown. So yeah, this one jumps out at me because of that mainly. Um, also because there's an adjustable wrench in there and I just think that's kind of unique maybe. Um, but he does have the CRKT neck knife. I uh, don't remember exactly which model that is, but it's a pretty popular one. You can find it at Lowe's Hardware. Um, but yeah, it's cool stuff. You can find all the things linked down below. The next one comes from Andy Garcia. Let's find that one. And this one, the reason this submission jumped out at me was actually the knife here. Because once I decided I wanted to theme an EDC Weekly around the utility knives, I said that I could only find two in the 180 submissions I believe there were at the time. There were two utility knives and I went through that list over and over and couldn't find another. And then I made that video and it was just like a fl the floodgates were opened with, with utility knives. And this is one of the ones that I picked to feature in the roundup later. And that is the OLFA or Olfa 26B. It's a pretty unique knife. It's definitely not like any of the others and it uses a pretty obscure blade, but I still wanted to include it because it is so different. And honestly, I think it's really, really neat. You can get a really good purchase on that knife really slice through some stuff because it's a craft knife. But the rest of the stuff here is pretty standard, the right in the rain, there's a pin, um, SD Classic from Victorinox, a Nitize tool, and a Pelican flashlight. And that background is kind of nice and cool, it's different. The leather and the wood, those are the things that draw my attention at first. Leather, wood, brown, rustic stuff, that's just my personal preference. I try to set that aside as best I can when I'm going through these submissions, but it doesn't always work. Anyway, the next honorable mention comes from Josh Vine, and again, more of that rustic look and feel. Um, might be one of the reasons I did not actually feature this one is just because I try to take my personal taste out of it sometimes so it's more fair for everybody. But in this one, the one that jumped out at me Really, honestly, that. The wood just grabbed me and then that leather band. But you also got a tactical pin here, and I did do a feature, a themed in EDC Weekly last week on pins. Originally, I was gonna do tactical pins, and then I started going through, and I found some pretty unique pins in the mix. So I didn't do tactical pins, but I might do a tactical pin 
EDC weekly theme in the future. The next mission comes from Jason Smith, and there's nothing that necessarily jumped out at me originally with this picture. It's a pretty standard everyday carry picture. Um, nothing wrong with that. But what did jump out at me after I took a second look at this is the outdoor edge knife that you see here. So I featured an outdoor edge um, utility knife that you push a button, you can pull the utility knife out and put another in. This one is their EDC interchangeable blade folder. And it's very much like a standard folding knife, but once you're done with that blade, rather than sharpening, it's a disposable blade and it's the length of a normal blade. I think it's 3.25 or 3.5 inches. They have two different versions, actually multiple different versions, but on this one, just pop out the blade, put a new one in. That's what jumped out at me with this submission. So thank you, Jason. The next honorable mention is from oof, Jaranjeev Das. Probably not quite right on that. Anyway, what jumped out to me with this submission, that's a really unique looking wallet. And that wallet, let's see what he says about it, that is a Lidarachi leather wallet. I like it, I like that button clasp and it just, I don't know, it reminds me of something that I would make if I were working with leather because I like those hard angles like that. And uh, again, probably just the rustic background, it, it draws me in, it's like a bug and one of those bug lights, the leather and wood and those rustic, antique -y things just suck me in and then then I'm hooked. So the next one comes from Emma Sanders and yeah I believe this is a female. We don't see many female submissions here so it's always good to see another. I didn't actually pick up on this one until today. Um, I just completely missed it or overlooked it. I don't remember exactly when it was submitted. Uh, let's see 713 so this was actually from July. Completely missed this one but what, what drew me to this one when I was going back through everything today, I did go through the full August and July submissions, so over 400 submissions I went through manually today. It took me quite a while. But what grabbed me with this one is the Surge knife. That is the Surge Bean Flipper knife, which is a really cool looking knife. Um, she said she attached it to a magnetic release and also added a bottle opener to it. Uh, but yeah, that's the one thing that jumps out at me. Watch people would probably immediately see the Rolex. The Surge Knives is what jumped out at me because I think this might be the first submitted Surge Knife on the whole EDC Weekly ever. The next submission comes from a longtime supporter of my work, and I think he has commented on everything I've done for at least the past year, maybe longer. I don't know, but Doc Inc., you've probably seen him in the comments. He's got something to share every time. I love reading your comments, Doc. Uh, sorry I didn't get to feature this one. I actually did move it onto the finalist list as soon as I saw it come in, and I meant to feature it. This was, I believe, from last month as well, and I just never got to it. Last month was a little chaotic, not as chaotic as, as August. I say last month, I mean July. Um, July was not quite as chaotic as August, but still. Uh, in here, we've got quite a few different things, and this is a very unusual EDC. And part of that is because Doc, he carries a lot of stuff, man. Uh, Doc, you've told me that you've had, I don't remember, what was it, like 14 flashlights on you at some point. Um, he carries bags, and then he has go bags, and then he has other bags with other stuff. I'm not ragging on him, I'm just saying he, this is how he works and operates. He's probably done it for a while now. And uh, the reason I picked this is because I know, I know Doc's style. I know he's submitted some other stuff in the past, and I kid you not, some of those submissions from the past have probably had 80 items in it. And I'm talking about individual items, but but he pared this down for me. He tried to go minimal. You don't have to change you for me, man. It might mean that you might not get featured in a video, but it also doesn't mean that you won't win something eventually. But yeah, thank you for your persistence. Thanks for trying this, you know? Thanks for putting forth the effort, because I saw that change. Your first picture was a little blurry, it was a little darker, and you you asked for help. You went out, you, you commented once and said that you went out and asked someone for help to take a better picture to submit to the EDS Weekly, and that alone deserves a shout out, because that's dedication, man. I, I don't know that there's anybody as dedicated to watching my videos and supporting me as you, Doc, so thank you. Thank you so much. Final submission is actually from I believe another girl it's Rachel Pang Pong Pang I don't I don't know not a clue but this <sighs> I hesitated to share this one as a as a feature 
because I feel like it's going to open the floodgates once again with uh, bags and, and pocket organizers and stuff. And I want so badly to expand what I do here with the EDC Weekly to bags and other things. It's a huge undertaking, but if you just have a tiny little bit of patience, I'm working really hard on doing all of this stuff because you've done so much for me. I'm doing what I can to give back. So I'm excited for the end of the month. But Rachel's EDC, this is a pocket organizer. It's a it's a Maxpedition, which I believe it's a Maxpedition. I've actually considered buying myself and using a little organizer like this. I haven't. The Hitch and Timber does all has worked for me for a little bit. I'm not carrying it right now because I've literally received three wallets since I got that one. So that's the downside to this channel is I get some new gear and then I get new gear and then I get new gear and then I'm like, I don't have time to try all these things. So I'm gonna have to take a breather and slow down a little bit, but I have considered one of these. This one just jumped out at me because it is so organized and it's, and it's nice to see a pocket organizer or an EDC organizer, whatever you wanna call these and not loaded to the brim with stuff. It's, it's just nice to see that. But thank you, Rachel, and thank you all for submitting. With that said, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more stuff like this in the future. And yes, yes, I know. Paracord guy, I don't remember your username, but I am going to do the video. I promise eventually I'm going to do it. Uh, also, hit that notification button so you're notified when I upload new videos. And be sure to follow us around the web. You can find us on Twitter and Instagram at BestDamnEDC. You can find me, Taylor Martin, on Twitter and Instagram at CasperTech. And until next time, carry on. I need a better outro still. If you've got an idea for an outro, let me know in the comments down below. Because I'm carry on just doesn't do it for me.